Hey basketball coaches, players, and fans, today we are going to talk about the Toronto Raptors offense and how they like to try and score on their opponents. They are a well-oiled scoring machine between Mark Gasol in the high post able to pass the ball and stretch the defense into allowing him to take three-point shots. We have Pascal Siakam who is able to then take on some of the worst defenders on the other team. They really like to use Pascal Siakam in that role because he can really expose how bad the opponent's defense really is. And then we've got other players like Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Fleet who can jack three-point shots like there's no tomorrow and hit almost every single one. They're very highly percentage three-point shooters. But let's get down into the strategy. So let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check out the Toronto Raptors. So in this first clip, we just had Fred Van Fleet drive towards the rim. He's doing a pass out to OG Ananobi. Now, this is one of the strategies that the Toronto Raptors use, and that is to get paint touches. So if you're a coach or a player going up against a zone defense, you really want to get paint touches because this is going to allow you to collapse the defense, which the Toronto Raptors just did in this video. Because what's going to happen is now these players have collapsed down this pass is coming out to OG which is going to bring that baseline defender up to guard OG and because of that now the defense has been stretched out they're switching on to players that they're not used to guarding and they need to play catch up like this guy right now and especially if we have quick players in the corners which we do we have Pascal Siakam and Norman Powell both very quick basketball players and because of that we make that extra pass to Norman and now Norman's going to get that ball and right away he is going to go and attack the basket now this is a massive mistake so if you are a defensive player and you are trying to recover to a player who is technically open because now you need to switch on your defense the one thing you do not want to do especially against a fast player is to allow him to go baseline and by standing in this stance as we have right here you are forcing him baseline you're not forcing him into the middle of the key what this player should have done was to come out and guard that side to force him into a double team now personally as a defensive player, I would rather have him get another paint touch and kick out rather than an open dunk, which we have right here. Now going along with the whole idea on getting paint touches, sometimes you can get a player when you're in the transition game to be pinned underneath the basket. Now at the younger age group, you may want to pin him just a bit deeper, but when you're a bit older and as skilled as Serge Ibaka, you're able to pin him somewhere within that first hash mark and below. I'm not talking about the block. That's the block. We're talking about the first hash mark and below. As long as you can pin a player in that area, you should be quite successful on just doing a quick turnaround shot, whether it be a regular shot or a baby hook. Now, Technically, this is a foul because he is leaning forward into Serge Ibaka, but it doesn't matter because Serge Ibaka makes it anyways. That's what I'm talking about by being a skilled low post player. Now, another thing that the Toronto Raptors really like to run is Marcus Gasol in a screen and roll up at the point. Now, the reason for this is because now, if you get a switch or a really deep hedge, which we have right here, he is going to pop out to the three-point line, and he is a very competent three-point shooter. Now, because he is a competent three-point shooter, you're going to have players who are closing out on him, and if you've got a very strong paint player like OG Ananobi, you are going to be gathering a double team down low. So how did this work is we had a screen up top 
and then we had a back screen on Fred Van Fleet's defender which now leaves Fred Van Fleet wide open for the three-point shot but this could also force a switch getting Tyler Hero out to guard Fred Van Fleet and because of this screen if it was set just a bit better he could seal on this side and when this switch comes out if Fred Van Fleet couldn't get up that shot and this was a good strong seal off of that screen he could do a nice quick bounce pass in for a layup but let's see what happens Marcus Gasol gets it he passes over to Fred Van Fleet and Fred Van Fleet drive or tries to drive gets cut off but what we have here is Marcus Gasol going down I'm assuming that should have been a screen but it wasn't of course I grabbed this footage from this YouTube channel and from there OG got it up top in an isolation he's an extremely fast player and he was able to get to the basket but going back just a bit farther that's how I personally would have ran this play maybe it was not lined up or wasn't planned out to be like that but that's just personally how I would have done it so this is what I mean by paint touches. So we have Fred Van Fleet. He's going to pass over to Kyle Lowry who is going to then drive towards the basket. He's getting a paint touch here and he's going to be passing out to Pascal Siakam. Which at this point we're seeing that they're running a 2-3 style zone. Or at least right now it kind of looks like it. Or maybe even a 3-2. But what we're going to have, I'm going to call this a 2-3. What we're going to have is now a swing around, swing around. Now they, they recovered quite well. Now what we're going to have here is now we're going to be having a what I call a fade screen. So you're going to make it look like you're going to screen but you're popping off. Marcus Gasol gets that ball. Now he's going to get that double team up top with those two players. And now he's going to swing over to Pascal Siakam, who is, again, attacking a gap. Now, this is one way that you can get paint touches. So as a player or as a coach, if you're looking to beat a zone defense, this is another strategy that you could use. But it goes all the way back to getting paint touches, which means attacking the gap so you can get to the paint. Now this would be a gap in the zone which would deem a double team. So if he can go and attack that gap, he should have at least a couple of players open. If he can draw in a weak side defender, he may have somebody open on that side. And because of that he has a drive, which is what happened. They kicked the ball out, made the extra pass, and OG is a knockdown corner three point shooter. Now this next clip that I'm going to break down is one of the more popular plays that the Toronto Raptors run. Now the Toronto Raptors run a lot of five out basketball. The, what you'll see them run a lot of is three out, two in against a zone, or a five out, or a four out, one in offense. Those are kind of the most three popular that I have personally seen and believe me, I watch the Raptors religiously. So we're going to have a screen up top by Marcus Gasol. That's going to then, instead of being a roll towards the basket, he's going to pop up to the point. And now we have Kyle Lowry passing over to OG, who's going to set that screen for OG. But also, we're going to get a dribble handoff with Marcus Gasol. Now after that dribble handoff, if this player is going up top, and if he's going to run into Marcus Gasol, that would be truly a dribble handoff. But... When Marcus Gasol, Marcus Gasol is a very smart player. If this player starts to cheat underneath, he's going to lift that ball up because that's going to now tell this player, hey, your man's cheating. We're going to run part two, which is going to be now. OG is going to continue to cut through. Now at this point, we're going to have Van Fleet pass to Marcus Gasol. And now at this time, we're going to have Fred Van Fleet. There's a couple of different options. They can run through the play again, be a dribble handoff, but he could fake that and go baseline, which is what we see happen right here. Now, that sometimes does get a lot of baskets for that player in the corner, but what we have here is now a reversal. 
we're going to go for the screen and roll with Kyle Lowry, who's going to knock down that three. Now, very soon, I am going to be releasing a video on some of the tactics on how you can beat a zone defense, so stay tuned for that. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.